Welcome to this AceReader speed reading software tutorial. This tutorial is an introduction to using the eye exercise games with AceReader Elite. To access the games, I'm going to first log on. The games can be accessed from the course mode and the menu mode. The course mode will have you perform games in each of the predefined courses. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to access the games from the menu mode since the menu mode allows you to manually select exactly what you want to do. I am then brought to the menu mode screen. As mentioned in our other tutorials, the reading improvement activities consist of drills and games. The games are fun activities that you can do to help you become a more efficient reader. To access the games, just click on Play Eye Training and Brain Games, shown right here. You are then presented with a list of games. Let's take a quick look at each game. The first game in the list is the eye span game. I'm going to select that game and click on the Begin Game button. With all the games, the directions are shown at the top of the screen. To start and stop this game, you just need to press the spacebar on the keyboard. With this game, you are asking yourself, are the words the same? If they are not the same, you press the left arrow key. If they are the same, you press the right arrow key. There are 10 levels to the games. The object of each game level is to earn 10 smiley faces. One thing to keep in mind, you only earn a smiley face if you have more correct answers than incorrect answers. So even if you get a correct answer, you might not see a new smiley face if you are in the negative with correct versus incorrect answers. You need to have 10 more correct answers than incorrect answers to win a game level. Now let's enter the iSpan Comprehension game. This game is very similar, but instead of asking yourself if the words are the same, you are asking yourself if the words are related in meaning. This adds a comprehension element to the game. I'm pressing the left arrow key if the words are not related in meaning, and I'm pressing the right arrow key if the words are related in meaning. Now I'm going to play the Tachistoscope Flash and Recall game. With this game, text quickly flashes on the screen and you need to simply recall what you saw. Let's now play the Search and Scan game. With this game, you are presented with a word that you need to search for. You then press the space bar to begin the game. Notice the timer down here. You can scroll through the text and you need to click on the word that you are searching for before the timer runs out. If you press the options button, which by the way is available to you when you enter the game from the menu mode, you can select a different text selection, such as a grocery list. The final game is the flashcard game. This game is considered a bonus game since it can be used for reading improvement purposes, but it can also be used for memorization purposes. It works like traditional flashcards. If you select the Options button, you will see that we have flashcards for young students, such as U.S. State Capitals and the Times Tables. For older students, we have SAT prep and college-level vocabulary exercises. It should be noted that you will be presented with multiple choices for your answers in the first five levels of the game. In levels 6 through 10, you will need to type in your answer. It's also worth mentioning, you can create your own content for use with all the games. We will cover that in the administration tutorial. So there you have it. That's a quick introduction to the games. The games allow you to have fun while learning how to be a more efficient reader.